Okay, I just want to share a couple things that my students, my great students, Emily and Miles did. I just want you to know that whenever you see the denominator of a fraction, the bottom number of a fraction, that means how many times the whole has been cut up into. So when I look at this fraction right here, I know that I have a whole that's been cut up into two pieces. And the top number or the numerator tells me how many of those pieces I have. So when Emily did it, what she did is she drew a bar model and she knew that the whole was cut up into two pieces. Now the top number shows how many of those pieces I have. That's why she colored that one in. So this is a visual representation of one out of two. That's another way we can read a fraction. One out of two. And here you can see I have one out of two. But if I want to add one of these pieces plus one of these pieces, well, this pizza here would be cut up into fourths. Now, if I had one of these pieces here, because if you look, the whole has been cut up into four slices, one, two, three, four, and I only have one of them. So what mistake a lot of kids do is they think, oh, I could just add one plus one and get two. But look, if I add this one plus this one, they're not the same size. We call that congruent. And in order to add and subtract fractions, the sizes need to be congruent. So what Emily did is she just, on the whole right here, she just cut it up into four. And watch what happens. This one out of two, when she cut it up into fours, one, two, three, four, this one became four or two-fourths, which is an equivalent fraction to one-half. They mean the same thing. But can you see how by cutting it up into fourths, it converted this fraction into now the denominator is four. But look, that half became a two. And now that they are congruent pieces or they're the same size, now she can add the one, and that's what she did, and that's how she got as an answer, three-fourths, because she was able to add because all the sizes were congruent. Now, what Miles did, which was a very, very great way of doing it, is he took a piece of paper, he took a piece of paper, and he wanted to show you physically, instead of through a pictograph, he wanted to show you how if you have a whole, and both of these represent a whole, a fraction represents a whole. It's just that the bottom number tells you how many times that hole has been cut up into. So one half right here, if I'm going to cut it in half, here we go. This is what Miles did. He took that hole and he cut it up into two places. And then what he did for you so you can visually see is he colored one of those holes so you can visually see that right here we have a hole that's been cut up into two pieces and we have one of those holes being a different color. But then if you can look over here, we want to cut this up into fourths. Now, if I cut this up into fourths, or when I cut this up into fourths, I should say. Now, after I cut it up into fourths, and I like how Miles used the magnets here, I cut it up into fourths. Look at that. The same thing that Emily did with her pictograph of cutting it up, it did happen here as well. Did you see how the one half out of one out of two, when she cut it up, or when I cut it up into fours, now we have two out of four. And now that our sizes are congruent, I can add one of those fourths. And when I color in one of these fourths, I get the same thing, one, two, three, out of a hole that's been cut up into four pieces. Well, I hope our friends and I helped you. Happy Mathing.